rent prices, home prices, inflation. It seems like everything is going up right now, yeah. but we're going to focus in on rental increases across America. Let's talk about it. So one thing that is affecting a lot of people right now is rental increases. We just want to have a conversation about the rental prices right now and what's going to happen or that we predict is going to happen over the next six to 12 months and just talk about what's happening right now. It kind of feels like a, a lose-lose situation. It really if does. You, if you want to put it that way. But um, it does seem like a lose-lose situation mm -hmm. right now. If you are you're wanting to be a first-time home buyer or you mm -hmm. just want to continue to rent, that's completely fine too. But in this market right now, it's like she said, it's kind of a lose-lose situation because you've got housing, the housing market going 30%, 40% over asking. And you have like 25, 30, you can have 25 to 30 offers on one house. Sometimes even more than that, you yeah. know, just from conversations that we've had with friends that are in the industry and just hearing stories about how there can be over 30 plus offers on a single home or a condo. It's just crazy to know that it's you and like so many others like wanting the same thing. So it kind of feels like, well, is it the right time to purchase a home? Maybe I should stick with renting. Or if you're living at home and you decide maybe, you know, I want to just get an apartment. The cost of rent is skyrocketing throughout the nation. Yeah. And I think you touched on the uh, a, a very important point. It's across the nation. Yeah. Uh, there's more cities that are having a bigger dramatic increase than yeah. others. Yeah. Um, we're specifically in Miami and Miami is booming. I'm talking about it is booming like no other. Mm -hmm. It is just skyrocketing. And I think a large part, part of that is because this is uh, already a very attractive city for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Then you have a lot of people who during the pandemic were now able to telework and yeah. work wherever they wanted to. So if you have the opportunity to work from home mm -hmm. and come down to Florida, not have to pay state income tax, but also be in the incredible, you know, Miami vibe and you or can South, still keep your salary or, or Florida vibe mm -hmm. and be able to keep your salary. It's like, OK, do I choose to stay in New York or do I come down to Miami? And a lot right. of people are coming from New York and from California and from all over the country and coming down to Florida because they realize like, wow, if I can, if I can have this opportunity to live in Florida, but be able to work from home, then why not? Why not? So, yeah. And then there's a lot of tech companies coming down mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. all over the place, California, yeah. Texas, um, New York, and all of those companies are like tech companies that have, you know, great, sal great starting salaries. So, mm -hmm. You know, when you when you compare the cost of living and we had a, a, another video about uh, Miami and about South Florida in general, about like the cost of living and things like that. So go mm -hmm. check that out here in South Florida specifically. Pay doesn't necessarily equate to the cost of living. Right. You know, you find people that have to have, you know, two jobs or roommates just to be able to afford the rent because their full-time job simply just won't cover it. Yeah. And then you add on rent increasing up to 40% in some states. It's just like, how does a person survive? Like exactly. all, almost all of their paycheck is being contributed or just solely just given toward like rent. So I think that's a really good segue into one of the articles that I just recently saw. Um, and it comes from the Washington post.com and the headline, it says, rents are up more than 30% in some cities, forcing millions to find another place to live. Going up. So when you see things like that, and I will, we will put the... the we'll share these articles. Um, we'll put the links in the description below. Right. We're mm -hmm. going to put the links in the description so you can read the whole article. But this is the headline, and I think this is really crazy and really interesting because... Yeah. You know, I was having a conversation with somebody on the elevator here mm -hmm. at our condo and he was saying, man, I, 
I can't afford it. Like he really was scared and he really, I mean, I, I just met this guy on that one day. I've never met him before, but mm -hmm. he had to vent because he was about to go through it. He, he, he knew he that needed his, an outlet yeah, in he, that moment. He knew that mm -hmm. his lease was coming to an end and that the, his, the property owner was mm -hmm. saying, okay, we're about to raise this. I don't even remember what the numbers were, but it mm -hmm. was over a thousand dollars. Yeah. From one year to the next. Yeah. Sticking your the same key into the same door, sleeping on the same bed, and having the same square footage. Yeah. But now you're paying a thousand dollars more mm -hmm. for that same exact place. So when you think about that, it's like, man, like people are getting squeezed out. And this person, he was like, I, I don't know where I'm gonna go. Like yeah. there's nowhere to go. Because everywhere whether it's, is so whether it's, expensive. Whether it's downtown Miami, Brickle. Or if you go outside of the city, obviously cities are a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. So even if you go outside of the city here in South Florida, all the surrounding cities, even if you go 20, 30, 40 minutes out, everything is going up. And then you go even further up north and you go even outside of South Florida, it's still going up. Yeah. And then if you think like, oh, I, I want to move out of the state, which is already a burden because like. And to move now, out of state is very expensive, too. Right. So you, you have to factor those costs as so, well yeah so it's not just like a, a florida thing or just like a state a state thing like it's happening all over the place so yeah. if you wanted to move across the country it the rent is still going to go up maybe at a, a lower maybe pace, not as but high but there's still an increase yeah it's just yeah. an unfortunate situation that a lot of people and a lot of americans are going through right now because it's like where do i go and people are really getting forced out and having to completely change their lifestyle or completely just move or even go back home with their parents and just to save some money and right. you know be able to maybe purchase and the just the stress from that alone right. is enough for you to be like the guy in the elevator that's venting like I don't know what I'm going to do right and it's really unfortunate because a lot of people are in a situation where they don't know what to do and their options are very limited right that's another great segue to another article that we that we uh, just recently came across mm -hmm. and it came from npr.com and it says the headline says it's not just home prices rent rents rising sharply across the US mm -hmm. and this is something we're, that we're already talking about right now but mm -hmm. it just sucks because the rental uh, the rental prices are sky high mm -hmm. but then the housing market is just as high and then that kind of goes to the next point which is inflation inflation yeah. is on the rise too over the last year the housing market went from like 2.5 to 3 percent interest rate yeah. to now it's over 4.5 5 percent yeah, and it's looking to, to go five. it's yeah. looking to go even higher mm -hmm. and you think about that 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 takes away from if you're looking for a house that takes away your buying power mm -hmm. of how much house you really can afford because the higher interest rate that you have the less house that you truly can afford if you're if you're using a mortgage. Mm -hmm. So you got to take that into account. And in in a, a, a video that I think we should do mm -hmm. uh, soon is building an emergency fund. Yes. I think that would be a huge yes. benefit to a lot of people out there because in times like this, you have to have an emergency fund so that you continue to be financially sound and financially secure and to prepare for the unexpected the because, best way you can right yeah. because like the person in the elevator that we had a conversation he's like i don't know what to do mm -hmm. and if you have an emergency fund hopefully six months to a year emergency fund then you can prepare for stuff like that but also you want to make sure that you're not locking in something that you truly can't afford to yeah that's yeah. a that's another huge thing because the emergency fund would just help you be a little bit more secure um, had you not had an emergency fund at all right. and was faced with a situation like this. Yeah, and that's actually a really good point because emergency fund or not, you still have to make sure that any rent prices, whether it's current or the next uh, lease that you have that mm -hmm. might have an increase, you have to make sure that it's within your budget yeah. and that you're not spending way too much on rent and can't afford anything else. Mm -hmm. Because if you're spending over 50% of your income mm -hmm. on rent, then that's going to leave you in a little bit, a little bit of a bind as far as other expenses that, that you have, yeah. you know, all, all your other monthly bills, bills and, stuff, and yeah. anything else that you want to do. Yeah. Um, so just be mindful of how much money, and the percentage of how much money is going towards rent. Yeah. And I think that's very important. And I think we want to touch on that. Um, 
But, but keep in mind, too, you know, we're not financial advisors. So this is just based on our experience and based on conversations that we've had with our friends that, like you, you know, we're all going through it. No right. one is depending on where you're at, but a lot of people are, you know, kind of facing the same thing. So, you know, we just want to share this with you and hopefully it'll, you know, it'll be a value. Now, rental increases have even hit us. I mean, we're here in downtown Miami Mm -hmm. and things have, like I said, have exploded. And we were now faced with $900 more in rent. And guess what? It's still under market. Yeah. Can you believe that? It's crazy. $900 more in increase. And we're still under market of what what a a place like this goes for on the market right now. Mm -hmm. And that is crazy to think about. So $900 increase is a lot. And most people that is going to really push a lot of people out. Yeah. Um, We've been able to save and be able to budget and we're budgeting for this increase and Mm -hmm. still be able to make it work for us. Yeah. But in most cases, and a lot of people, that is just going to be way too much. And and honestly, you know, e- even though we can afford it, it's something that is not ideal, obviously. Of course, $900 yeah. a month, that's crazy. But, you know, at prices like this, you start to look at like, man, does it make sense to continue to rent or should we now buy? And I think that's where we're at right now because rental yeah. prices are just as high as a mortgage or even higher. And it's like, all right, let, let's uh, let's explore different options at this point. Yeah, because of we course. were completely fine with renting and uh, throwing investments into stocks and, and things like that. Mm-hmm. But now it's time to like shake things up a little bit and see. Okay, maybe we should uh, focus in other avenues so that we diversify stocks, but also get into real estate. Yeah. So feel welcome to drop a comment below. Um, let us know what it's like in your city. Has you know rent tremendously gone up? Mm. What's the housing market like? We just wanted to have a conversation about rental increases, mm-hmm. housing increases, inflation. But we w- really wanted to focus in on the rent because that's what a lot of Americans are going through right now and mortgages as well. Hope that you got some value from this content and subscribe for more content like this. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Bye. Enjoy the journey.